Welcome to footballgameplan.com where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunters of the Playbook, bringing you my NFL NFC Championship game preview between the Green Bay Packers and the Chicago Bears. Now let's start with the Packers offense and one thing that you look at when attacking this Chicago Bears defense, a lot of screens. You look at your running back screens, tight end screens, wide receiver screens, any type of screens that you can get going in this game will be to your advantage because you guys will help neutralize that pass rush and that's going to be key. So a lot of screens, that's going to help supplement the running game if you, you're not able to run the football that's going to help out that offense. That's going to give Aaron Rodgers more time back there in the pocket to hit targets down the field. Now, speaking of down the field passing, you have to attack the safeties and attack this Chicago Bears defense vertically. Don't be afraid to take shots deep. If you can loosen up that pressure and take shots deep down the middle of the field, which is a natural void in that cover two, you're going to have some success in playing football against the Bears defense. And that's going to give Rodgers time to work the running game and also work the short to intermediate passing game to help keep you guys ahead of the chains. So don't be afraid to take shots deep deep down the field, that's where you have some success against the Chicago Bears defense. Now you look at the defensive side of Green Bay, one thing that's important when playing the Chicago Bears, zone blitz will kill the Bears offense. You can fool Cutler with some of your disguised blitzes and coverage schemes, that's going to be the key. You have to make sure you utilize a lot of zone blitz because he will get rid of that football quickly and that will play to your advantage because you guys have some athletic linebackers and defensive linemen that can make plays on the ball, not to mention your secondary. So utilize a lot more zone blitzing this week and a gap pressure is going to be key. If you guys can get pressure between guard to guard in the Chicago Bears offense, you can effectively play the run on the way to the quarterback and get pressure on Cutler. So a gap pressure is huge. Now you look at the Chicago Bears coming in offensively, force the issue with the run. If Green Bay is going to be active at the line of scrimmage and slow down the running game, don't get away from it. You guys can run the football. You have a talented tailback in Forte, another talented tailback in Chester Taylor. Stay with the run. It's going to help neutralize their pass rush and help open things up for Jay Cutler. And speaking of Cutler, he can't lose sight of the situation. One thing that's important that he's been doing throughout the postseason is protecting the football. If he gets rid of that football quickly and he gets it to the guys that's wearing the same color jersey as he's wearing, the offense moves on pace and stays ahead of the chains. And that's why the offense is a lot more dynamic in the postseason as it was early on in the season because Cutler is protecting the football and that's going to be key. He has to remember the situation, protect the football. Now defensively, your linebackers have to be active in the passing game. Green Bay is going to try to work the short to intermediate part of the passing game. It's up to those linebackers like Briggs and Erlacher, uh, Tino Samoa to get some pressure and get active in the passing, get those hands up, be on alert for a lot of interception possibilities if you protect the middle of that defense. Also, you want to make sure you have to use more coverage. Don't blitz Aaron Rodgers because he has the arm strength and the accuracy to pick apart any defense. So utilize more coverage this week. Your front four is talented enough with Peppers and Donna J to get pressure on a quarterback. You don't have to blitz. You don't have to send an extra guy. Play more coverage, let's blitz, and you should have some success. Now let's look at some positional matchups that you want to look out for. Starting with the quarterback position, you have to side with Aaron Rodgers, a guy that's very talented. Although color protecting the football is a talented quarterback, but Rodgers is playing out of his mind right now, so you have to side with Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers. Looking at the running back situation, you have to go to the Chicago Bears. Two talented tailbacks, not only can they run the football, but they can also catch the football out of the backfield, and they both are excellent in blitz pickup. Wide receiver battle, I have to say this is going to be sided to Green Bay because they have a lot of talent out there. They can stretch the field one to five. They go deep down the field and they can all make plays on the ball. Offensive line, I say it's going to be a push. Both teams protect the quarterback real well as the later the season. So both offensive line, although have some leakage, but they are playing a lot better. Defensive line, you have to go with the Chicago Bears. They can get pressure with their front four. They don't really have to blitz, and that front four is very, very talented, led by Julius Peppers. Now, you look at the linebacker matchup. I say it's even. Both teams have outstanding linebackers. That can get after the quarterback. That can drop back in coverage. That can knock the stuffing out of wide receivers and running backs. So both linebacker cores are awesome. Secondary, I have to say it's even. Both secondaries can make plays on the ball. They can play coverage, and they're not afraid to come up and make the big play in the run game. Special teams aspect, you have to side with the Chicago Bears because of Devin Hester. His ability to change the, the field position is outstanding. They have an outstanding special teams unit. You can't kick it to Hester in this ball game. The X factor for the Colts, I mean for the uh, Packers, you have to look at Mason Crosby. He has to make all his kicks because they may not get opportunities to get into the end zone. He has to step up big. And for the Chicago Bears, you look at 
Mike Marks. He has to remember to keep balance on the field with the running game, and that's going to be huge, and Cutler has to protect the football. Those are the two X factors for the Bears. I'm going with Chicago in this game. I think if you look at last game, Cutler's interception was the key element into keeping the Packers alive and getting into the playoffs. I think Cutler's going to protect the football this time. They're going to run the football with more success like they did last meeting. And I think the Bears win this one at home. Tough physical game. It's going to be one of the best games of the weekend out of the two championship matchups. For more NFL previews, visit footballgameplan.com NFL or visit our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash footballgameplan.